I had the opportunity to um, to spend uh, two separate years, a, a whole week with Richard Branson on his island. He, if you don't know who he is, he's the, he's the billionaire that started all the Virgin companies, Virgin Records, Virgin Airlines, Virgin Mobile, all those companies, right? Um, I helped raise a million dollars for his charity and, and we got invited to go to his island and he came and, and it was all awesome to spend time with a billionaire. Um, and one morning I get up at five and everybody else didn't and he did and he saw me a couple mornings and he's like, hey, tomorrow morning meet me at the docks. So I ended up sailing around the island with him for about three hours. It was really cool, just me and him. So I'm learning how to pull the ropes and sail and all that stuff. I wouldn't tell him that I get motion sick and I wanted to throw up on my own face, but <laughs> it didn't matter. Uh, it actually wasn't that bad. Um, but I talked to him about this. And because he owns Virgin United and a lot of, uh, uh, Virgin United is his charity arm, uh, the one we raised the million dollars for. And he pays all the bills in the company, so you give him a million bucks, a million bucks goes on the ground to help people in need. Pretty cool, we built so many schools and did lots of great things. Um, but I talked to him about that feeling, like to get rid of the last little bit I had in me about maybe even feeling guilty about making money. And he said something pretty cool. He said, Dean, the way I look at it is we're all blessed with different abilities. We all are blessed with different gifts. Uh, I'm not Mother Teresa. He said, I'm not the person that will you know, uh, spend uh, a month working at a soup kitchen, even though I'd love to, because my unique ability is to make money. And he said, let me ask you, Dean, if you, with your ability to make money and having this mindset of generating money, not be afraid to, to create profits and companies and all that stuff, he said, if you went to a soup kitchen and worked for two weeks, if that's all you could do, that's amazing. And the people that do it, that's their ability, that's their gift, that's what they're giving to God, the universe, back to society, back to a whole. He said, you could do that for two weeks or a month, or what if you popped by that homeless shelter and dropped off a check for $50,000? Which one do you think you personally could make a bigger impact on that homeless shelter? He said, if you know how to make it, if you get the right mindset, if you get the right tools and you go to another level, you have an ethical obligation to make more. And then do what you want. Give it all away if you want to. Help everybody. Help your family. Make sure your kids are okay. Retire your parents. Help your church out. Build a school in Africa. Donate it all to Houston or, or, or Florida, the next disaster that comes with people who really need it. And when he said that, it just, it gave me that freedom, that last little bit is, this is what I want to do. I want to make thriving companies that make money and I can do whatever I want with that money. And you get to do whatever you want. And if it's taking care of other people, helping people out, which is the greatest thing, we're all put on this earth to serve. That's why we're here. When you, when you get past the worry of money, the next thing you think about is who can I give it to? Who can I serve? Once you have the security for yourself, it's about everybody else. So get that whole belief out of your system. Them, the last little bit of it that if you're making money you're hurting someone else because it's simply just a lie what's up what's up hey before you go you need to watch these next few videos they're absolute game changers hurry up and click right over here and watch them and i'll see you there